So for a layman to understand, can you define in such a way what biohacking exactly is? Is it done or it does it happen to us? What is biohacking? So biohacking is something that, um, you know, how you call life hacks? Koi cheez aasan karne ka tarika. It's right. the same thing. Biohacking is just to make your life easier. What should you do? Like it's basically, now let's understand the root. As human beings, we are trying to have a better quality of life and maybe live longer. We say that we can live up to 120 years. So we are we are currently have a life expectancy of, in India, we have a life expectancy of 66, 67, which is half of what our genes tell us. As an average population, I'm saying. So our main goal is that we can live longer and while we are living longer, have a better quality of life. Now, we are in the current ecosystem where there is pollution, hai, food is industrialized, uh, too much sugar out there, too many diseases, too many viruses out there. You need, a, you need certain hacks to make sure that can happen. So, that is something I call biohacking. Biohacking is a very law, large word. It's like saying ki health coach or it's like saying ki nutrition. So, biohacking is just a very fancy way of uh, saying... Con- Convenient and easy ways to make your life better. I mean, that's all. Bio, aap jise hacking karte ho, uh, bi, matlab, computers mein, vaisi in the same way biohack kar ho, but yahan pe bas biohacking legal hai. Okay. And that's it. Right. So how is it useful for a common man? No, I, I mean, it is useful for everyone. I mean, common and common, it's, uh, you know, uh, uh, because uh, like, for example, people who have diabetes, Right, they would usually take metformin as a medicine, or they would uh, try to cut down on their sugar. Right, I'm saying a good biohack is that why don't you make roti out of konjac flour? Just make kabzi nahi hai. Why don't you have noodles ke jagah konjac noodles? Usme koi kabzi nahi hai. You know, so biohack is to replace something and not to delete something. If I tell you, you can have the noodles, you can have the rice, you can have the roti. But just aata badal lo. So that's the biohack. So instead of going to a doctor or nutritionist where they say ki ye cheez aapko hatana padega apne zindagi se, I am saying biohack's a way to replace those things. Okay. So Not always, but yeah. Right. So you're believing in the substituting things with more healthier supplements. Because, you know, um, one of my favorite books is The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. And that completely changed my life. If you see any habit, dekoge, there is a trigger, there is the process, and there is a reward. Right? If you have a trigger, like those who smoke, karte hai, right? what is the trigger? Boredom. Then you smoke, and the reward is your boredom got complete. Right? Now the trigger will never change. Right? The end value that you want will never change. The only thing that will change is the process. If you cut out the process, you will create a mental health hazard for yourself. Because the trigger will always be there. You will always feel bored at some point in life. You would want to get rid of your boredom. All right? So the idea is to replace smoking with something else. Biohacking is that. We are all built of habits. You know, you don't even realize when you wake up in the morning, you uh, wake up on a certain side you will either get up from your left side or you will either get up from your right side. You don't realize it. You don't realize but you'll go brush your teeth. You don't realize the way you'll drink water. These are habits, right? Habits that build all your good habits and bad habits, right? 50 to 60%, I would go to the extent of saying 70 to 80% people are mouth breathers. You know, like most of us are made, uh, made up of our habits. And if you want to beat your habits, you have to substitute things for the same triggers. That's the only way to replace your life. Can you tell us some of the techniques of biohacking? So I think uh, I recently made a video on biohacking and uh, I think uh, some of the uh, very basic biohacking techniques that people can start with is one of the things that I said is um, the conject flour. I think conject flour is 97% uh, water and 3% fiber. And uh, it can be made as noodles, it can be made as rice. So I think that's a very a good biohack that people can follow because it eliminates the entire carbohydrate content and they can have like a whole bowl of noodles. And that tastes like normal noodles. 
So that's one biohack. Uh, very big biohack that I really believe in and I posted in my community yesterday is blood donation. Uh, people don't realize that, uh, you know, they can delay their blood pressure problems, they can delay their heart problems uh, to a very large extent. If they keep donating blood every three months, you lose at least 700 uh, kilocalories of energy when you're donating blood and it removes excess iron for women. Right. And then there's so many other benefits from blood donation. I think supplement wise, I think magnesium is one thing that I really push with all my uh, people and clients and everything because um, magnesium is involved in 300 biochemical reactions in your body. Like people think taking vitamin D3 is good enough, but it won't circulate in your body without magnesium. You know, uh, stress relief, uh, constipation relief, uh, so many benefits of magnesium I can't even begin with because we used to get magnesium from our water and food. But now it's become so industrialized that you don't get magnesium anymore. So, I mean, that I think is a really good biohack. I think sunlight therapy is a great biohack. I mean, these are few biohacks that I feel are great for anyone to start the biohacking journey.